Before I met Janine, my life was cosmically a shambles. It was, uh, I was using bits and pieces of whatever Eastern philosophies happened to drift through my transom. And, uh, she sort of sorted it out for me, straightened it out for me, gave me a path, you know, a path to follow. I wonder if you, uh, have as much influence over his musical expression. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I listen to him when he's experimenting. And things like that, don't I? He... He plays things to me sometimes when he's walked up and he's got a new bit he wants to tell me about, you know, and I say, that's good, or that's bad, or that's shit, whatever, you know. <laughs> yes, she is very honest. She is brutally frank. Well, how does that go over with the other band members? I mean, you... Well, what happens is she gives me the brutally frank version. I sort of tot it up for them. Of course, you know, it's so strange because Nigel and Jim are so similar in so many ways, but they just can't, they don't dislike each other at all. There's great love between the two oh, of them, yes. but they just, there's some sort of communication. It's just not, just blocked or something. of all keys. Makes people weep instantly, I don't know why. It's a horn part. It's very pretty. Yeah, just simple lines intertwining. Much like I'm influenced by Mozart and Bach, this piece is in between those. It's a mock piece, really. What do you call this? Well, this piece is called Lick My Love Pump. <laughs> 